Hi, Chad here with Purple Car Life. This is my new Cub Cadet 149 Hydrostatic. This is an international brand tractor. According to the serial number of the engine and the rear transaxle, this was built either December of 1971 or January of 1972. It's within that range. So that's what I believe it to be, a 71 or a 72 Cub Cadet 149 Hydrostatic. Now let's talk a little bit about what's special about this particular Cub Cadet 149. It's got some features I hadn't seen before. If you follow the channel, you also know I used to have a Cub Cadet 149. When I was first building my house on this property, before there was anything else here, I used a Cub Cadet to mow down the old pasture field that was here and try to start making this into yard. I also used it to drag some trees out, some smaller saplings that I had cut up, kind of drag them out of the way and clear some area that was going to be in the future, my yard, where my house is, where the shed is, where the garage is. So I did a lot of work with that old Cub Cadet 149. Now this one's in much nicer shape than that one was. Now let's go over some of the things that are different about this tractor from my other 149 and just some basic information about the Cub Cadet 149 by International Harvester. The Cub Cadet 149 has a 14 horsepower engine. The model 149, the 14 signifies that it is 14 horsepower. The nine signifies it's hydrostatic. Uh, in this era of international Cub Cadet tractors, the nines meant hydrostatic and the eights meant standard transmission. This 149 has been restored by a previous owner. It's got a pretty nice paint job on it. Some things I like about it, it's got the original rear tail lights. The replacement ones don't usually have these square edges and don't look exactly like that. It does have the hydraulic rear lift hitch. So you can see this raises and lowers. This raises and lowers hydraulically. It's got a bracket down here for if you, there are some attachments that attach to that bracket and then that hydraulic lift point lifts the entire kind of like a three-point system. It does have disc brakes. It does have replacement tires on it. These are a 23 by 10 and a half by 12 tire. I like the look of the 10 and a half tires on these Cub Cadets. This is your hydrostatic and brake. So this is when you're slowing down with the hydrostatic or you can see if you push the whole way down, it's a brake and there is a parking feature, parking brake feature. You can see this does have a mower deck on it with a mule drive, drive system on it. All the power from the engine comes off of a power takeoff inside there, down around the mule drive pulleys and back to the blades of the mower deck. This 149 also has the real glass headlights on it. You can see a nice headlight enclosure there. It's got the real front grill on it. And it's actually got an improvement on the mule drive. That's for the quiet line series from what I understand. And that's the most sought after of these mule drives on these older Cub Cadets. These Cub Cadets have what is known as a starter generator. It does both functions. It generates power for recharging the battery and, and it also starts the tractor. And you can see this is where the exhaust comes out. This tractor does have hydraulic lift for the deck and any other implements. So like we said, this lifts up that rear lift and it also lifts the deck and it also lifts this. So if you have a snow plow on the front, there's a bar that goes up to the front and raises the snow plow. This is adjustment for the deck height. So you loosen this up and then rotate this and it determines how much height as this goes down. So I can actually lower that now. You can see how that rests against there and that's what sets your mower deck height. 
We'll go over how to start and operate this tractor in just a moment. But I also want to show you under the seat is where the battery and the voltage regulator is. The ignition key is down here below the console, right here. This switch is for the headlights. Now let's review these controls. First of all, before we get into the controls, this is extremely rare. The lighter option on the Cub Cadets is really hard to find. You can see it actually is an old cigarette lighter. Like I said, that, that is not very common to find. Normally this just has a silver button here, like a knockout block. This is your amp meter. Shows if you're discharging or charging. This is your choke, normal steering. Over here is your throttle. You can see this dash console is in really good shape. And this is your hydrostatic drive. So when the brake is not down, I'll go ahead and release that now. That enables you to move this hydrostatic drive forward and reverse. Like we said from right here, this is your raise and lower of the hydraulics, which could be something back on the rear lift, the mower deck, or the snow plow. And on your left hand side, a push button engage PTO and that PTO is on the front of the engine the disengage pull back so to lift the hood there's actually two little latches one on each side right here's that little latch that lowers for the hood you lift up you push down Same thing on this side. And then the hood lifts up. And just like all small engines, carbureted vehicles, I recommend only using ethanol free gasoline in the tank. This is a two gallon gas tank and a Kohler 14 horsepower engine. You can see this is all in very nice shape. It's hard to find ones that are in a tank that's in great shape. Down in the tank is clean. The outside of the tank is clean. The engine looks to be in nice shape. So let's start this up and show a little bit of the basics of operation of the Cub Cadet 149 Hydrostatic by International. Now to start the tractor, your foot does have to be on the brake. If you try to turn the ignition key without your foot on the brake or the parking brake on, it will not turn over. So your foot needs to be on the brake or have the parking brake on. This particular tractor just needs a little bit of throttle. So up, not even a third. Uh, when it's cold, it does need you to pull the choke out. I don't need to choke it. This was running not that long ago. So let's go ahead and turn it over. there you have the basics of the Cub Cadet 149. I do anticipate you'll see future videos about this tractor. But I wanted to show you those that basic 
operation information for the Cub Cadet 149. I'm gonna go ahead and mow this area back here real quick. We'll call it a day. If you like videos like this, give us a thumbs up, share it with your friends, comment down below. If you're not already a subscriber, click that subscribe button. We'd really appreciate it. And we'll see you again the next time. I don't know if you could tell what I was saying when I was engaging the mower deck, but what you want to do is have your throttle down when you engage the power takeoff. That way that power takeoff clutch doesn't have to slip against the plate so fast. And then once the deck is engaged, then you can slowly throttle up. I just think that's good practice uh, to keep the mower deck in good shape, the PTO clutch in good shape, and your tractor in good shape. And the same thing when I turn it off, I throttle down and then pull the power takeoff clutch back. Hi, Chad here with Purple Color Life. If you've been following the channel, you know I've been searching for a tractor for a while. Not that I need another tractor, the John Deere 2210 does a great job, but it's always fun to shop. And I've been thinking about what kind of tractor I would get if I would get another tractor. Well, I can tell you that perhaps that search is over. I did find another tractor and I did make a purchase. Now let's just start right off the bat here and say it is not a John Deere. It is not a green tractor like my John Deere 2210. It is also not a Kubota. So we'll roll those two out right off the bat. I'll tell you that, you know, thinking between shuttle shift, standard transmission and hydrostatic, I went with hydrostatic. I can tell you right now that thinking cab or open station, I went with open station. I should also mention, this is not a brand new tractor. I didn't go with a brand new tractor. I had to get something a little bit older, a little bit more used. So, you know, it's not exactly what I was looking for, but I found it at a good deal, and I'll give you a little bit more information about this tractor. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> 